talking about the way I do what I do They heard I was good, they wanna see if it's true They know you're the one, I wanna give it to Before we get into it, make sure you subscribe, set the notifications to all, so you never miss a single video. Hey guys, how's it going? It's your boy, Mo Harris. Welcome back to the channel. We have a special video today, as you can see behind me. So we have the legendary W204 C63. Well, it is a coupe, so it's the C204. Right guys, so this is where it all happens. The V8 engine crafted by AMG themselves. I'm gonna bring in the owner of this car who knows more about it, of course. Abdullah, if you wanna join in. Right. First of all, pleasure to have you on the channel. Likewise. Thank you very much for bringing down the absolute weapon of mass destruction. Please, so I can do. All right, guys, so uh, what we have here is, uh, as Mo's pointed out, it's a 6.2 litre V8 handcrafted by AMG. And uh, what we've kind of done to it is just all the preventative kind of things you'd like to do on a car like this. We're talking injectors, we're talking power steering reservoir, we're talking the pulleys, the belts, all your just common little niggles on this engine. But don't let that put you off because tell you what, as he's going to find out soon, it's all worth it. It's been very well built, on it? Absolutely, yeah. The AMG really didn't miss with this one and they've actually had it in their racing cars for years. We've got stock race here as well. So Absolutely. It's all done properly. How long have you had the car for? I've had it for um, around about a year now. Listen, this car speaks for itself. Let's get some cinematics. Cameraman's gonna do his magic. Roll on the cinematics. So some other things that have been done is it's had a secondary decap. So yeah. this car from factory comes with four catalytic converters. Yep. Two of those have been removed um, by a very famous uh, exhaust fabricator out in Leeds. Right, okay. uh, that, that will happen before my ownership. And I've just come to find out it's actually had a stage one. Fortunately, can't tell you who that was by because uh, I don't it's know myself. Yes, um, I, it was something I was a bit of a shock to myself as well. Uh, so stock. This is around 450 brake. Yeah, yeah, 457 uh, to be exact on this. Uh, and uh, the torque? 600 newton meters. So with the stage, what are we looking at? We, uh, your generic kind of stage one maps on these will kind of get you up around early 500s, 505 to 5. Just going to turn around right here, yeah. Right. Um, we'll be looking at anywhere between 505 and about 510. And your torque figures on these don't tend to increase that much. So you kind of go from about 600 to about 630. At least from my research, I'm sure there's someone in the comments that's gonna. So we're looking at about 510. Uh, yeah, 510 to about 630 newton meters. This car with stock power, um, obviously, as all the power is going to the rear axle, they're dangerous. So you can imagine with the stage as well. We're about to find out if he'll put his power down. What's the tires you've got on it? So um, yeah, we've got some Taurus UHPs on the back. Yeah. Um, there's a sub brand of Michelin, it's supposed to be their premium budget brand and we put budgets on it naturally because these things eat through tires like there's no tomorrow yeah, yeah, the rears. something that's a good kind of balance between budget and performance even yeah, though it does okay. have an open diff mm, interesting interesting no differential there guys so if the car does slip out you've got to be in control let's just get cracking straight into it lad do you think good to go right i'm so glad that you flew me out to mexico to do this by the way yeah yeah we are in mexico I'm just switching over into manual mode. Yeah. 
6.2 litre and you're not going to get it again guys especially the way the cars are going into electric now I mean the C63 well the new one is 2 litre yeah we had some rumours flowing about that they might bring the that V8 they might back, bring the V8 back. But it looks like they've uh, denounced that as well so that's not happening so so one of the things is that on the C63s they were able to put um, a specific AMG menu button right here so in that you get to see your engine oil temperatures and your coolant level so you can just keep an eye because these naturally aspirated engines they tend to get a little bit hot just got to keep an eye on those engine oil temps make sure they're happy and of course it's very very twitchy isn't it absolutely always fighting steering wheel Just wait for Rafa, and then he'll switch over with my cousin. We'll get uh, Rafa in the car, and then I'll take you out for a run. See how this beast is. It's the second C63 I've drove. I'm not drove this version. I drove the four liter. Right, the new ones. Yeah, so it's totally different. Absolutely. <laughs> Just follow us up. Right, We're going around. Yeah, we're taking a smoke. Go on. Oh, my goodness. Revving out all the way to 7,000 revs. They don't make cars like this anymore. this earlier on the only thing is on these c63s is the delayed response on the shifts it's just it gives you a slight little delay in a way it's good as well to say if you're absolutely wiring this car and you're losing traction yeah gives it a little bit of time doesn't it absolutely to figure it all but out. you're making this with today's technology oh yeah yeah with yeah. all the electronics mingled with, yeah, in with, with this it. engine and stuff like that that would be crazy that enough would be crazy. <laughs> He had one of these. And oh, he used yeah. to call it the shock cam car. Oh yeah. Tell you what, yeah. It gets you shock, doesn't it? Oh, it's just AK47 going. <laughs> it's a 2010 car, is it? So they they made them, yeah, in around in about 2008 or so. But um this facelift came out about 2011. This particular example is a 63 red. Yeah. So slightly later production car. Nearing on 10 years yeah, old. Yeah, yeah, and it so still feels nice yeah. in you. A lot of people look after their cars from exterior. Yeah. But the interior, you can tell like his car's been a bit used or whatever. But credit it goes, all credit wrong. goes to the owner there. Absolutely. He, he's very well looked after the car, mashallah. Oh, shit. And that's a great thing, you can knock it into neutral. Yeah. And have your fun with it. Shift. That's the thing. Absolutely. Did you hear that, Rafat? <laughs> Did you fucking hear that, mate? It's only a decal on this as well. A lot of people do. There's delays, right? mid pipe, straight through, cut back. The rain stopped um, and the roads have gone drier. A little bit of traction, but it's nothing to be worried about. Sport Plus, what's the difference? Because normally on new cars, it 
takes traction off Spot Plus? Great question. Not 100% sure. Some, I sure someone tell us in the comments. I think though. traction comes off on the Spot Plus with this. It doesn't uh, off. Does no, no, no. Because no. you'd get a little sign over there. Yeah. So you've got the traction button here. You can yeah. get it in sports. And someone in the comments, put it in the comment box below yeah. on these C63s. What's the difference? What's the difference? Because you know there, it yeah. doesn't feel fast. Because yeah. you know you're used to it. It's just like you drive every it's day. It's a little more scary. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Especially because like you, you're just here. You don't know when he's gonna yeah, plant yeah. it, so you, you can't brace yourself. Once you get out of the corner mm. and you just put it on, it just feeds it through nicely. It's got a tunnel coming up, guys. A little, and when it does that, it sounds evil because it's like not going anywhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, that's, like, and that's with traction on, so yeah. manual traction off and he was doing this and it yeah. agitating the car the car said fuck. fuck you and it just went that way it just literally just slid off that way and, and that was it that was game over like it, we, we literally stopped that car from the curb on a straight as well on a straight dry day Good. One of those things, you're a driver until you end up like in one of those videos where the car spins out and you end up over there. <laughs> yeah, 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 you know yeah, yeah. what I mean? To do that, you're a driver until you, know, until you, you pull yeah. one of those maneuvers. It's kind of one of the corn, yeah. Like, you know, a lot of people, they're like Quattro warriors in it. Like, they drive like the S3, they think they're bad drivers yeah, in it. Yeah, yeah. That's why everyone that's like a Quattro driver that jumps into one of these, they think, yeah, but, but man got it on looking that. 